Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife. And before I begin, I would invite anybody who is here, if you like this video when it's all over and done, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I plan on continuing to provide you with varied and excellent content. And so your support means the world to me. Today I have a different kind of topic for you, and that is related to the Louis Vuitton price increases. There have been so many YouTubers who have talked about these price increases recently and about how high and how much they were and about how the prices are now so high that Louis Vuitton is not worth it anymore. So for the most part, I would tend to agree. I don't think Louis Vuitton is worth some of these prices that they're charging. Some of them are purely outrageous in my opinion, but I did want to go over the bags that I have in my collection that I purchased from Louis Vuitton and just basically tell you what I paid, when it was, and what the increase was and give you my thoughts about that. So I have them all written down on post-it notes today because I don't think I could remember. I have several, so I needed a little bit of notes to keep track. I'm going to start with this beautiful Neo Alma BB in Empreinte. And I got this bag in September of 2021, so last fall, for $2270. And I also got this chain charm around that time for $600. Now the chain charms, they didn't increase in price, although I did not find this one on the website anymore. All the other ones though, that were 600 are still 600 and the facets charm was still 315. So that's one type of item that seems to have escaped the large price increases. The Neo Alma BB in Empreint did not escape the price increases and it is now $2,500. So it increased by 230 bucks, which is around a 10% increase in price. So it's not 25% or something crazy like that, but it basically bumps it up over what I, it's right on the borderline of what I would feel comfortable paying for a bag like this. 2500 is pretty much tops for me for these luxury bags. So I'm not really happy that they did that. I think that the increase on this one, if they're going to do increases, it's not horrible, but I would probably still buy it at the current price. Next, I would like to talk about my Pochette Matisse in Turtle Dove. Now this bag I have accessorized with an organized my bag chain that I can link below. I've showed it to you before. It's the beautiful Emprunt leather in Turtle Dove. Last September, I was going a bit crazy with Louis Vuitton. And so I bought this last September for $2,420. And the most recent price increase brought it up to $2,840. And in my opinion, that is too much for this bag. I don't know that I would buy it again for that price. It's just too high over the $2,500 mark, and I just have that as a threshold in my mind. But I am super glad that I was able to get it for the price that I got it, under $2,500, and I plan on keeping it in my collection. In September of 2018, I bought two of these key clays. Here's just one of them. This is the monogram one, and I paid $205. And as of this latest price increase, this is now $325. So over a hundred dollar increase in price. However, I use this and also the one that I have in Damier Aben. I use them every day. So I would still consider both of these to be worth the $325 price point. Next, I want to talk about my Indigo Alma BB that was purchased in October of last year. It was purchased for $1,820, and now it is currently $1,960. I still recommend this bag at $1,960. It's a full leather bag, at least on the exterior, and has a very nice lining. And for Louis Vuitton, 
many of the canvas bags are over this price point. And so to get an all other bag for under $2,000, I would consider that a win, even though the prices went up a little over $100. Next on my list is my Neo Noé in Noir with the monogram print. I purchased this in December of 2017, so a little over four years ago, and I paid $1,450. This is an all canvas bag with leather trim, and currently the retail is $2,030. This is right on the borderline of what I consider acceptable for a canvas bag. $2,000 is pretty much the limit in my opinion. And with this bag having the glazing issues that it has, I did a video on that earlier about having to get my glazing repaired on this bag and all the troubles I went through to get it back whole. I'll link that down below. But this bag with the glazing issues that it has and basically getting the price increased from what I paid at $1,450 all the way up over $2,000. I'm not sure it's worth it. I'm like 50-50 on this one. It's a really nice bag and it has a great capacity. I've got the Samorga trapezoidal organizers in it, which holds its shape really well with, with very minimal additional weight. And I also have it with a fully leather strap that I got from Amazon for a grab handle, which I think matches really well in terms of the hardware. It's not perfect, but it's really well. Anyway, like I said, this bag, I would say 50-50, whether it's worth it or not. If you're looking for an all canvas bag, it's hard to get into one for less than $2,000 anymore. So if this is a style you like, I say go for it but whether or not I would buy it again, I'm just not sure. I might on some days and then maybe not on other days. Okay, these two babies are bags that I probably would not buy at the current price point, but I'm super glad I got them. The mini pochette I bought in 2018 for $310, and that's this bit right here. And after the last price increase, it is now $745. And it's just a tiny little pouch. I would probably go to another brand to get a pouch that size now. Now for the pochette accessories here on the back, I purchased it for $500 in 2017, which I thought was a great deal because I could use it as a purse or a pouch. And now in 2022, it's $1,290. And for me, I would rather get a Toy Lulu from St. Laurent or some other sort of all leather designer bag versus this. Now I'm showing these here with the strap that the pochette accessories came with and this modification that I bought from Dress Up My Purse. Now that allows you to carry the bag like a multi-pochette. I've got the short strap on just because it's easier to display, but it's really cute in my opinion, as a shoulder bag. It's also really cute crossbody, and you get more room because you have the two patches hooked together. So if you happen to have these two, or you still plan on getting them at the current price, because let's be frank, even though they're, in my opinion, overpriced, they're still one of the lower priced items you can get to start out with, with Louis Vuitton. So, that is my version of the multi-pochette, which you can't get in Damier Ben. You, you can really only get it in the monogram or the empreinte. So I would say no, it's not worth it anymore. But if you want to get it, it's still one of the lower priced canvas items that you can get when you're starting out with Louis Vuitton. Next, I have my Speedy B25, and it is accessorized with the Samorga chain and the Louis Vuitton Facets Charm. Like I mentioned, the Facets Charm has not changed in price. It is still $315. I do feel like that is a pretty darn good deal. In 2019, this bag was $1,430. And after the most recent price increase, it is now $1,820. 
I think this bag is more worth it than the Neo Noe at $2,030. I feel like the strap is more versatile and more comfortable than the one that comes with the Neo Noe. I really only like wearing the Neo Noe on my shoulder because much like the pochette accessories in Omprat, when you extend the strap, there's really only one adjustment and it has two snaps that hit you right up here on the shoulder and that kind of is uncomfortable. So I wear it on the shoulder and not crossbody, but this one, I can wear it on the shoulder by removing a segment of the strap. I can wear it crossbody and I can also carry it top handle. So I do think this bag is worth it even at the current price. In conclusion, I have two honorable mentions. I do look at the pre-love market and I have purchased from the pre-love market. When I bought my three speedy bandoliers, I got two of them. Well, actually I got all three of them from the pre-love market. The one I just showed you, I had the receipt for so I could tell you what the person paid for originally. And that's why I shared that one in terms of analyzing what it was versus what it is now. This one in Damier Azur was $1,399 when I purchased it from a reseller and it was essentially new and I was getting it for $50 less and I also didn't have to pay tax on it by buying it from the reseller. So I didn't have much of a savings and if I could have bought it from the store, I would have, but I wanted to get a made in France bag and I could not find one of these in the store that was made in France. So that's why I went the resale route on this one and basically saved probably about $150 when you factor in tax and the $50 I saved. So when it comes to the canvas bags, if it's still a current model, it's probably something that would be better that you purchase it in the store versus on the resale market unless you just cannot find it because canvas in current styles holds its value really well. Now, if you wanted to get one like, I'm trying to think of a good example. If you wanted to get the Sully, for example, it's a hobo style bag and I'll insert a picture of it here. Then it's not available in the store anymore and it's on the pre-loved or resale sites. And in that case, you might save a substantial amount on it versus buying a Graceful, which is currently still in the store. And I'll insert a picture of the Graceful here. One exception is the Alma BB in Epi. Now, when I got the Indigo, I was only able to get it from the store. I couldn't find any that were in the condition I wanted on the resale market, but this color, Rose Ballerine, was discontinued. So I did go to the resale market and I bought it from, guess where? Bessier Collective. This was my first major purchase from Bessier Collective. And this bag I got after all fees and taxes that were included for $1,355. And that was when the price of these bags, I believe was $1,760 on the website. So it was a great deal. It was never worn. She provided the certificate of authenticity. Vestier re-authenticated it, and then I got an authentication. So it's 100% real, and I actually have the Indigo directly from the store to compare it to and confirm it on my own as well. So when you're looking for an Alma BB, I would 100% or 1000% recommend you look on the Reloved, the Preloved websites because the Epi ones, they don't hold their value and they are amazing. The leather is very structured, but durable and they're gorgeous. I, I think they're gorgeous however you carry them, on your shoulder, by the top handle, or crossbody. Crossbody can be a little awkward because of how they move on your hip, but it works and it's a small sacrifice to make for such a gorgeous bag. So that in a nutshell is what I paid for these various bags and what they are selling for now on the Louis Vuitton website. I would say probably half of them I wouldn't buy again at the current price and half of them I would. So you just have to look at it yourself and decide whether or not you think it's worth it. 
and look at the other brands out there because there are some amazing designer bags out there that don't cost as much as these do. I love Saint Laurent. The leather on Saint Laurent bags is absolutely amazing to die for. In fact, my bag cabinet, when I open the doors, the smell of the Saint Laurent leather hits me and I just go, oh man, that smells good. Gucci offers some amazing prices too in comparison to Saint Laurent. I only have one Gucci bag, but their price points are very reasonable for leather bags, especially compared to Louis Vuitton. So don't forget about them. The Gucci bag that I have is all leather and it was less than $1,500. When you look at a Gucci bag and compare it to this bag that was $1,290 now on the website, not in this color, but in the monogram, it's really hard to justify spending that much on a canvas bag when you can get a high-end designer leather bag for just a tiny bit more. So you'll have to let me know what you think. What would you pay for these bags? Are any of these bags that I said maybe aren't worth it, in my opinion, worth it to you? If so, please comment and I will make sure to link anything I can as far as accessories go for these bags that I've shown you just so that they're handy. And I really, I would appreciate it so much if you could give my channel a big thumbs up and subscribe to it. I'm the Handbag Housewife and I appreciate all of you and I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Take care. Bye.